I thought it would be fun to give you a tour of my new office. So let's go inside. So over here is my desk. I got a new desk for this office and I'm so, so much happier with this desk. My other one was kind of old and falling apart. And it's a great desk to hold my microphone that I use for podcasting. I have this mic hooked up back here to a, a Scarlett, which helps me put the podcast sound into the computer. And I love this arm. It makes it so much easier for me to podcast because I can move it around. You know, when I'm on video, I can get it out of the way. When I'm not needing it, I can put it way back here and it's not in my face. So I love that. Also, I have a lot better lighting in here. My other office, eh, the lighting was not ideal. And so I've got these two lights here. When you are on video, you really need to backlight your, or I call it backlighting, but it's actually light your face from this side. So you need lighting back here, but you also need lighting that's going to light up your face. Otherwise you will look like a strange color. <laughs> So I'm really happy with the way this lighting works. I don't need to have any special lighting, just these lamps that I have here. And then I've got this awesome couch. So when I want to take a break, um, sometimes I want to take a break and do some stuff on my phone. I can just sit here comfortably. Sometimes if I want to, I don't know, take a nap or something, I can just take a nap here. And also it, it doubles as a place for extra guests to stay in our house. So that is this side of the office but then over here so one really great thing and i've got to love my um, plantation shutters they're so awesome but one great thing about this office is it allows me to have a really well set up background so it was always important to me to have stuff in the background of interest that people could see and related to music so over here on this bookshelf i've got some some pictures, um, this is a picture of me at the opera with my husband, picture of me and my group, of singing group in college. Um, I've got some really cool kind of 80s memorabilia here. I've got my singles collection, which uh, is always really fun if any of you guys have any record singles. Currently, I have no way to play them, but um, I still love them anyway, and I, I never want to get rid of them because they're such a memory for me. I have the original Thriller album, which is always fun, and I get a lot of comments in my videos of people like, hey, is that the original Thriller album? So um, I have a bunch of other albums here. This is um, Brian Adams' Reckless, which is another great album as well that I have. I've got all my copies of my book down here so people can see that it's my book. And then I've got my actual functional stuff down here that I use um, binders of music and stuff. But of course I've got my Joel McHale picture as a friend of mine um, was friends with Joel McHale and got me an uh, autographed picture of that. I always get a lot of comments on that one too. So, and I've got my guitar. If you guys know me, I'm a keyboard player, but uh, I still always want to learn to play guitar and I can play it a little bit. So I do still kind of noodle around on it sometimes. This is actually a um, door that goes into an adjoining bathroom. So that's really convenient. But what's great is the way that I sit at my desk, I'm kind of blocking the door, so there's not really a door in my background. It's more focused on this bookshelf and also on this piano because as you know, I am a keyboard player, so I love having my piano in the background. This is a Clavinova keyboard that I got as a junior in high school for my birthday from my grandparents and my parents. So it's pretty old. Um, it's about 22 years old. I'm sorry, 32 years old. <laughs> oh boy, I'm dating myself. But um, it still works so great. Yamaha piano sound is really the best piano sound out there and this still sounds fantastic. So I use this for practicing. Uh, I used to use it all the time to create MIDI tracks and stuff. I don't do that as much anymore. Um, up here on the wall, believe it or not, I painted these paintings when I was like in fifth grade and I'm not an artist, I'm not, good at art in any way but I went to a class and I had a teacher help me paint these my mom keeps saying I wonder how much of that was actually done by the teacher but um so that was my little dabbling into painting but I fig figured I may as well put them up and enjoy them and then this is my bulletin board here with all of my cds on it um cd releases that I've had some of which were demos 
and oh, like especially that one over there in the corner wow that's a weird looking picture um and then some of these you know my healing water cd my christmas cd stuff like that up there just to to remind myself of, of what i've done in music and, and enjoy them even if i don't like actually play the physical cds anymore but that is a tour of my office and i absolutely love this office and you will see it in a lot of my videos in the background